everybody. Welcome back to Connerty Meadows Farm. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ricky. If you're returning, welcome back. So the last couple days we've been working on building a horse shelter and originally my plan was not to record this, but I've had a few people actually request to show the video process. So since I missed showing you in video what happened in the last couple days, I'm going to show you some pictures here. Okay, so day one, we have six sidewalk blocks and we leveled them with the ground. I know it doesn't look like much, but it actually took quite a bit of time. And the reason why is because we have these six big posts that are going to be going on to the sidewalk box. And here I'm just showing you, this is basically what the structure is going to be like. And our main goal for this particular day was to actually get it all up so it could be independently standing before um, the next day came along. So you can see we have a number of the posts in and then here is us just putting that last header on. And then um, you can see here, yes, the posts extend much higher and I will touch on that in the last little bit, but at least you can see the structure of the building here and what it is going to look like. This is where we are at now. So originally these big long posts, the reason why they're so much above the crossers is because we were actually gonna sink them down into the ground. But then um, what happened is that we had discussed putting them into the ground and every time we've ever built a shelter similar to this and sunk them down into the ground, we've used cedar. But for some reason, Thomas, uh, when he ordered these from the mill, he forgot to order cedar and he ordered pine instead. And if you know anything about pine, even if you treat it and you sink it into the ground, it's gonna rot away to nothing. So we nixnade on that plan and these top parts now are kind of like excess. And if we had thought about it, we could have gotten eight footers um, from bottom to the top instead of getting the I believe they're 10 footers, they might be 12 footers. Um, either way, we could have spent a little less money and gotten a lot less of them, but it is what it is. So the plan now is we've got to go ahead and we've got to top cut this upper layer here off and they're not going to go to waste. I'm going to turn them into a garden bed, yay me. Um, eventually they're still going to disintegrate away in a garden bed and that's okay. I'll probably put cedar logs on the outside so when they disintegrate down the cedar will still hold it all in place. So either way they're not going to get wasted. It's just we're not going with the original plan. So I'm going to take you a little bit closer. I'll show you what we've done and then I will try to do little snippets of how we're gonna do the rest of it together. So here on the ground, we have some um, sidewalk blocks. Now I got these uh, locally from Marketplace for free so they didn't cost anything. So we've gone ahead and we put them on the ground. And you'll notice that the ground here is very uneven. Even though these boards on the bottom are even, you'll see that one's higher, this one's lower. And um, that is us just leveling it out. So um, originally there wouldn't have been any need for this kick plate down at the bottom because these would have been sunk in the ground. But with us having them above ground, it just means that the animals are gonna have to step over this kickboard. And it's not the end of the world. We've had uh, kickboards on other shelters in our New Brunswick shelter. It was the same thing. There was a kickboard. Once the animals know it's there, it's pretty easy for them to step over it. Um, we'll probably at some point down the road, maybe get some gravel or something else to fill in the area. I've actually even thought about maybe putting rubber matting in there just to make it a little easier to clean out. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We're not really going to worry about it right now. Um, so this is the front of the shelter, which is south facing and it's facing the barn here. Um, and it's not gonna get a lot of wind this way. We've also made sure that we've let enough room be behind the shelter here, between the shelter and this tree line, so we can come back here with the tractor if we ever need to. Um, and it's gonna slope this way. It is 10 feet this way and 20 feet that way making sort of like each side uh, 10 by 10. We are not gonna put a divider between it because if for whatever reason, say 
the horse who loves to chase the cow uh, chased the cow in one side and we had a divider there she wouldn't be able to get away this way if she chases her in one side she can just whip back out the other side so this is where we are right now today's step is we're gonna cut these tops off and we're gonna put a gasket between the bottom of this and the cement plate uh, just to help it uh, from rotting and see how far we get Unfortunately, um, this is probably gonna take us a little longer than most of our builds take, just by the simple fact that Thomas only has so many hours after work. So we're just working the, on this um, during the hours after Thomas has done his work day. And as you can see, the sun is starting to set. And so we're probably only gonna get, you know, two or three hours sort of over the next little while, whenever we have time to go ahead and keep working on it. So that plate there could have been a two by six. We just didn't have an extra two by six. That's why we used the two by four, but it'll work the same. It's just a place to attach the roof parts to anyway. All right guys, so we're running out of light. I know it's hard to see what we are, but we're putting for the roof on. So we have a hurricane clip up there and hurricane clips on that side. And we will do this, they're every two feet. And we will do this the whole bit. Now the one on the end is a little bit closer than two feet because there's 11 of those across and it is 20 uh, feet, so. A little bit, a little bit closer. This is just to show you the hurricane clip up close. Uh, depending on which project we use, will depend on which hurricane clip we use. In this particular instance, we chose this one. There, it's only a little after seven, and it's pretty much dark. Interestingly, though, on the video, it brightens it up. It's kind of neat. I'm not going to be able to show you guys anymore after this, but. We will finish this tonight in the dark with headlights, just like we always seem to. Anyway, I'll show you in the light tomorrow when we're done. Okay, so we finished in the dark yesterday. This is where we're at now. So we're gonna laminate these guys onto the ends on both sides. And uh, then we have strapping to put on um and let's see how far we get today is this for you yes it's for you i think red wants to help us build <laughs> what do you think red is it for you is it for you? She's the uh, construction overseer. Make sure we're doing it right. <laughs> You're a funny girl.
one by ten. And then we to stop wind from getting up that way and potentially lifting the roof. And we'll do that on the front. The last thing we're going to manage to do tonight is we're going to put the strapping on. Um, it's getting dark. I know the camera lightens the screen so you can't really tell, but we'll just be putting seven those across all the way from this end to that end and that'll be all we'll manage to do tonight before it's pitch black. All right, so here we are after last night. The strapping's on, the front is on, uh, the back is on. Sorry, I'm wearing gloves. I'm actually also gardening. Um, Thomas and AC are going to be working on this today and I am getting frantically getting the garden ready because we are due to have some really big storms. Um, we have some more here for bracing and these are to anchor down into the ground so it won't flip. The plan is to get those in today and then the uprights so there's going to be wood like this uh, like the barn board and batten going but we're not batten we're just doing the board sort of on all three sides. We'll see how far we get uh, before it gets dark and before the rain comes. And then we're due for two weeks of rain, so whatever we don't get done tonight won't be done for a while yet. So these are about seven, these are in the seven foot range. Mm -hmm. Just around eight, over eight to eight and a half feet. Uh-huh. And then we've got uh, eight and a half to nine feet and then nine feet and two wonky ones one of which might be able to use but you might be able to use them for like the uh, around the front so i got the uh the braces in the side braces are in yeah braces and then I put another one oh you put the kick plate an extra thing in the kick plate just to strengthen it up and so now you're ready to put the no, no. thing on No. <laughs> okay, so the question is, do we want to make that even? We, we did talk about that, right? And then I could come across with the... The other one you're going to put like this, right? The care. other one you're going to put flush like that. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's just... Okay, so... Could put a level on it, you know. Too late now. Put it straight up to the top, wherever it falls on the bottom, you'll never see it. Don't stand right behind dad when he's hammering in, just in the odd chance it goes all the way through, okay? Yeah, just for safety, yeah.
I asked Red what she thought. Hey, what do you think? No? Well, again, it's almost dark. It's funny how much the camera actually lightens this up. We need, we actually, you gotta be kidding me. We're slightly out of order. So we have one side left and the roof. And somebody that wants to participate in all of this, doesn't she? She's like, I want my castle and I want it now. It's, it's not a castle yet. It's getting there though. Oh, I, again, I won't be able to do those little smidgy pieces. Okay. So. Just one side left. And then it's gonna be dark. Yeah, we'll be finishing in the dark again. What else is new? These little guys are the little, little niggly corners that um, there was little gaps in it. So these little guys are gonna fill in those little gaps. And then the outside will be done on the corners. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. So these guys, uh, we're going to use as anchors, just in case it decides to try to flip. It shouldn't, because the barn's in the way, but just in case. Just give it a little extra. Screw down the yeah, go down any further. Can't? Did you hit a rock? Oh, no. Now I know the edges of these look pretty sharp, but the plan is to build out uh, some wood around it so that the horses can't possibly cut themselves on it. All right, so we used the tractor to bring the last bits over and uh, now we will be covering in the front part, not all of it enough to provide even more of a break for them. It's a little bit of an ongoing joke. Um, we once had someone that watched our videos say every time Thomas is working and building stuff, he is uh, wearing a band shirt. So we always joke about it when I videotape him working. So um, this is going to be covered with boards, that's going to be covered, same with that side. So this is going to be a door on both sides so that they can go in and come out the other side and then they have a spot they can hide in back there. And it also gives a little bit more support to these um, beams all the way across the top. Now. We just have a roof to put on and the shelter will be complete minus gravel and rubber mats which won't be this year so on there right now kind of precariously balanced is uh the tin for the roof and then this horse shelter will be complete
we should finish before dark. Hey. Huh? <laughs> How's the view? How's the view? <laughs> Getting there. Last uh, three sheets. We'll be done. That's the last one going on. We have a completed horse shelter. All right guys, I'm showing you the shelter in action. And if you notice, there's another horse here. So this is Victor and Vic likes this side of the shelter. He claims it is his and Red here likes to stand in front of this side and the cow is not picky. She'll go in either side of the shelter. I put uh, straw in the shelter last night and both Vic and uh, Red thought it was edible. And if you look really closely, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this laying down behind red in the shelter is um freya sleeping <laughs> and yes i know it's snowing and the horses don't have their blankets on it's only going to snow for about an hour or so and they won't melt and they can go in the shelter if they really want but you'd be like red and just stand in front of the shelter there's a lay down spot there oh a couple poops i gotta clean a lay down spot there a lay down spot there um, I would say somebody enjoyed laying down in here last night or somebody's, who knows. It has been well loved and well used. Um, we've got some straw in it that I have to pick out every day for the poop. Um, but yeah, everyone loves it. It's well used, was well worth the time. So lots of uh, poops here I got to clean every day. And then we've got some straw in here. I've just cleaned this side. I gotta get another bucket and clean that side. Um, in here we have hay in hay nets and salt licks on both sides. And um, I will be getting more straw to put down in here. Straw will be for this year. Hopefully next year um, we can get some gravel and some rubber mats down in here for them. But for now, this is what we're doing, and they all really like it. Everyone comes in and uses it. She's a little more picky, and she'd prefer to stand here. But um, I'm sure if the weather was bad enough, she'd come in. So anyway, that's it. That's our build. And it is well used. We just put that salt and mineral lick out here. Last night, they have a big one as well. My daughter just showed him where those were this morning. I don't think he realized they were in here last night and he's like, yes, he's very happy in this shelter. Absolutely loves it. Every time I turn around, he's in here. So I'm glad. And red is, you can see her bum. She just stands outside and you can tell that uh, the cow loves it in here as well. So thanks for hanging out with us at Connerty Meadows Farm and we'll see you next time.